Hey family, welcome to another video here on Empress Yuda and Ras Natural Liberty channel. When I woke up this morning, I saw a video on social media of one of her sisters who has reached rock bottom really. And this video is very relatable because a lot of us right across the diaspora, we are economic migrants. We left our home countries and we went to other countries in search of better lives, as well as some of us have stayed in our home countries and we've made the best of life where we are. And we know a lot of our people are not happy for us. And the negative things that comes out of some of us is absolutely disturbing. Well, this calls for question and Sometimes I really have to wonder what is really wrong with our people because I'm convinced that something is definitely wrong. I want you to help me in answering this question because I don't know. Was there a spell placed on our people? Are we still suffering from post-traumatic slave disorder or post-traumatic slave syndrome? I don't know. I'm going to roll the clip and I want you to listen to this sister as she pours her heart out. Let me roll the clip. You know, I'm, I'm doing this video in tears like today, the second consecutive day, right? I'm driving and the car that I drive is an issue. And the story is always set. I'm so cocky for my bands. I'm coming from nothing. I'm coming from nowhere. Hungry, I'm barefoot, I'm poverty, I'm a storm. I'm afraid to share my storm. I'm share my story when I reach at the top. There was a time when I was sharing my story. When may I cry, when may I share my story? No, I share my story. I'm a do, I'm a do, I don't cry anymore. But right now, I am just really hurt. Because I don't know why Jamaicans hate themselves. I don't know why Jamaicans feel like, say, you're not supposed to aspire for anything. But grew up in our community near Boxing, far up in a brownstone, St. Anne, way up in our rural hills. Hungry, barefoot, I'm a sore, but I know say, education must be the way out. And so, I try. I try. I'm never the brightest in anything when I do. I understand, but I put my best effort in every single thing when I do. Right? I tell St. Hilda's and my St. Hilda's are hungry and barefoot on my store. Some days I have to choose whether me go to school or my sister go to school because I want a pair of shoes by the time. By the time I reach to when I exam time, I want one pair of shoes left and it will wear the same size. So I have to borrow a fair one. You understand? I'm done, done Hilda's. I don't know how I go reach, how I go, go further because my parents not have it. Right? I go come see, I do a year, I come see. And then I get in a teacher's college, I'm getting a teacher's college, a virtual white man, the first man who gave me $6,000 for pay towards my school fee. That time it was, it was um, $14,000 for, for, for study in a 1997 a teacher's college. And then, one next lady, Phyllis Mitchell, she gave me a check for $10,000 help out. Friends pull up and help me for, 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 for finish up my, 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 my um, in first year with a student loan the second year and final year I shot to teachers college I graduate I get several different job offer but I take the one with nearest to my house by then I get thrown out from St. Anne when my father did my family and my relatives throw away out and my mother come from Red Hills and we move and go live at Red Hills you understand my, 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 my sibling them up on the floor were homeless my grandfather have one tank. You know the tank. I put on the roof pan. And we in there, you know, out the door, the road was a better flooring than the roof than, than, than the floor of my house. And I in there so I stay for a few months and I done call it, I start building my first house in the Red Hills. My house done in a few months. Because I grew up in a board house and I never do one board house. I do a concrete structure. Understand? But then I'm not teach for much years. Right? And me, me say, you know what? I'm a dream for go to Five years later, 
I got you and I got you. I saw, me saw hungry and poor. I applied for student loan and then I give me it. I'm going to ministry and tell ministry because I depend no pay leave to ministry. Take back on the leave because I cannot afford to live from riddles. I got you, your man in time. So ministry start paying me. I understand I'm taking the leave towards the end part when I would have done you with two years. You understand? I complete you, yeah, I did it, I get complacent. I get complacent. And for 13 years, I done 2007, for 13 years, I don't aspire for nothing in education, I did I try to build myself. In other time, then I go to a soldier, I spent seven and a half years in a JDF. You understand? And then I asked to be discharged. You understand? When I'm done, JDF, I said, Woman, I go to know my own one shop on my gate, one board shop on my gate. You understand? Me I do the shop, I said, This is not enough, I go to take up taxi. Me still, I said, This is not enough, I need more, because I need my kids to be better off in my life. You understand? And so, I decide to say, All right. I go to my master's in 2020, the roughest year, I'm a brokest year. I do my master's, I pay, I pay Michael 100 and something thousand in my first year. I'm not paying no more, and so till I'm done, I need the, the, the certification. Somebody take a chance, because I do the master's, I get the job at a university in a Kingston. And I have a juggle doing the master's, teaching at a primary school. And a teacher at the university. You understand? I'm gonna graduate. I'm gonna graduate. I'm gonna graduate. The university take me. I decide to say, no, I need to change my vehicle. Buy one Mercedes Benz. I come like the worst thing that I ever do because every day, every day somebody see me is like, I'm not supposed to be in it. I cocky my sock and all kind of something. Forget to for drive Benz. I'm going to say, if you can do that, if you, you drive a Benz, why everybody not drive one Benz? I'm tired. Yesterday, one man abused me on the street, hit me. After he lit my vehicle, he actually hit me. You understand? Today again, I just park the place full up on my park. I come now for let out the man is a big argument. Why the place empty on my park? By then, the place was clear. I understand him, I said, I'm gonna block him. I'm gonna cock him, I'm gonna suck for my Benz. God Almighty, I'm just so tired. I drive on the street, the police, they must stop you. Or well, you could afford to buy this car. Come on, come on, Jamaica, and if you love on yourself, I don't see people aspire for things. I don't stop to accept from people. When I don't know what people go through. I want a law abiding citizen. If my one colleague look for me today, even though she might have mean it as a joke, she said, If a man to go be me come from, if my kid is scamming, I tell her all of what I do over the years. I'm 40 odd. I teach from me at 20, I graduate from, from, from college. It hurt me. I'm tired, yo. I don't give me a break, yo. I don't give people a break. I don't see people live their dream. I don't know what it is. Sleepless nights, I have a night time. After one, I have to up. I work teaching never done when you are teacher, it never done. You have your mark scripts. Me I lead out, me I me I guide my team. Come on, give me a break. I'm tired. Now that you've heard the sister, what are your thoughts? Do you think that we are still suffering from the Willie Lynch effect, post traumatic slave disorder, or are we just plain? bad mind or was there a spell placed upon us i don't know but something is definitely wrong we need to love on our own you have to dance a yard before you dance abroad so love your own first before you can love others i'm gonna leave you with this one right here talk to me in the comments blessed love empress yuda and don't forget to check out our website at ancientherbsco.com. All the herbs that I present on this platform here on Empress Yuda and Ras Natural Liberty channel can be bought directly from our website. We also sell handmade, non-toxic, 
organic, natural body care products, chemical free. And also our herbs are pesticide and herbicide free. Until my next video, blessed love. See you all in the next one. Empress Yuda.